360 degree reality. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another tutorial on Action Studios. And in today's tutorial, we are going to be creating some cool gradient grain texture effects on shape layers directly in After Effects without using Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever, because we all know that it can be very irritating using Illustrator and then importing grained, grained illustrations into After Effects and animating them. So yeah, I hope this is gonna be useful for you guys. And to start off, we have three different grain texture technique effects. To start off, we have three different um, techniques for this gradient effect. And I'm just going to start with the first one by making a new composition. And of course, a background solid should be white, okay? And then just make a circle or whatever shape you have, whatever illustration you have. And um, yeah, just have a, just have some random color on it. And um, then I'm going to center the anchor point. Okay, cool. And then I'm just going to duplicate this layer and go to effect, no, actually to layer, layer styles and add a gradient overlay. And then set this mode here to dissolve. Then select your layer with dissolve and press T for opacity and drag it down to maybe 40 looks good and then go all the way down to your layer styles again to gradient overlay make it invisible and edit the gradient oh okay and then instead of white right here we want to have our main color of our shape as uh, the first color stop of our gradient so let's press OK now and make it visible again. And then we can see we already have a cool gradient effect right there. And of course, you can also change the rotation. And also, if we want a, a more of a harsh um, gradient, you can drag this point, this midpoint uh, to the right. And that, that's it and we can still change our opacity of this. And now we have our first cool gradient effect. Now, one thing that um, could be good, could be bad about this technique is if I parent that, uh, this gradient to our main layer so that we can move it around, um, it doesn't change or randomize our uh, grain effect which we can see uh, on this square, in this example, it looks like the grain is just some overlay which stays at the same place. But on this effect, we have, um, it, it changes at every single frame when it moves. And in order to achieve this effect, which is also maybe you noticed already, um, doesn't have this fall off in opacity, uh, because it is a mask. So in order to achieve this effect, I'm going to delete this layer again and duplicate it again. And then select your pen tool and click this little button here, uh, which means you are going to create a mask instead of a shape. And then you can make some points here in the shape of a, I don't know, a moon maybe. Yeah, and this one I'm going to drag down here. Okay, and now we can change the color of this layer to uh, black and go down to our mask properties and change the mask feather to maybe 100. And then just do the same as before. Click on this solve and then we have this cool effect instantly. And I kind of prefer this technique over the one I showed you before, because I'm going to show you the same thing I did before. I parent this layer to the one below. And if I move this, you can see that the uh, grain effect gets randomized every single time, every, every single pixel it moves. 
So I'm going to make two keyframes here just to preview the whole thing to you. And now you can see it's way more random and creates this kind of almost like a TV static effect. And I really like this organic styled look, if you know what I mean. Uh, and that's also what I did for the third one. But you can see at the third one, it still randomizes after it's um, it's just standing there, it's just sitting there. I can show you like this. You can see all the others are static and this one is still changing and randomizing itself. And what I did there is uh, I went to just click P for position and option click this and type in wiggle and then to 10. And now we can see it uh, moves all the time, but it kind of wiggles out of our circle, which we don't want. So I'm going to scale this up and duplicate this layer, set it above this one. And then you can just go to track mat and set this to alpha mat. And now we should be fine. Okay, and now we can see everything sticks together in one piece which is cool and it also isn't static anymore. Now for uh, the third one, you can also see I changed the opacity a little bit there, but um, as we saw before, if I change the opacity, it kind of only gets less and less dense, which means we need to change the opacity in some other way. Um, and a workaround that worked for this method here is uh, going uh, clicking this fill tab here and just eye dropping this color here and then just dragging down this B which stands for brightness right there to maybe 40% uh, and then we can see it's not black anymore but it looks like it has less opacity but in reality it's just a um, lower blue tone of this one of this shape. Let's see, yeah, this is pretty cool. And um, now there's plenty of things you can do with this method here. And one example, which I actually um, got the idea for this tutorial from is by Ross Plasco. His Twitter is in the description. And yeah, he made this awesome GIF or GIF, whatever, inside After Effects, everything inside After Effects, and this is really impressive like look at his his fingers uh, there wow there was a lot of masking probably and yeah it just looks it had it has this atmospheric feel to it which just makes the whole animation like 10 times better and yeah I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and if it was, please subscribe to my channel and give a like so that I know that you like these kind of tutorials and have a look around my channel. There, I bet there's a lot of stuff that will be helpful for you and your After Effects career. So check that out and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.